Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony Fit Kicks, man. And today I just want to talk about uh, the sneaker game, man, and what has become of the sneaker game, man. Anyway, man, before I get into that, man, I got the Jordan 3 UNC. Well, yeah, the UNC 3s, man. These came out a little bit before the pandemic cap popped off, man. I liked them a lot. I had to get them. The originals was real dope. A lot of players resold their shoes for like with like three thousand. These are like the general release pair, and they're they're another. They're not like they're just like their originals because they got to keep you know the original with its like uh, you know authenticity, so people can feel like they have the a nice authentic like you know original pair. But these are definitely dope, bro. Uh, they re came back. They re released them. Jordan brand re release. I mean, they they released this version. Man, it's a dope sneaker, bro. <laughs> I just got a you a sneaker, you know, about just smelling that, smelling that quality leather. You dig what I'm saying? And <laughs> no, I'm just playing, bro. But anyway, man. Um, yeah, man. Uh, I just want to talk about the sneaker game, what has become of the sneaker game, and uh, things of that nature. Man, uh, the sneaker game has changed. The sneaker game has become about resellers, people that's buying into cool, and people that want to be cool. Back in the day, man. Back. Back when you know I was in the sneaker like sneakers heavy, cause I'm, I'm in my thirties. But back when I was in the sneakers heavy, bro, it was just people that was just into shoes because we just liked shoes. I mean, it was like an artsy type of thing. Like you knew a sneakerhead because they had an artsy type of vibe about them. You know what I'm saying? Like, they they'll wear a certain type of shirts. You know a person that was like it was different. It's a difference between like a Jordan head. You know what I'm saying? And then like a sneakerhead, it's, it's kind of different. You dig what I'm saying? But like a sneakerhead, we was like into like artsy stuff. You know, we, we, we was into like uh, uh, streetwear. You know what I'm saying? We was into like different things. A lot of sneakerheads, you know, we used to rock the G-Shock rock watch hard. Now that's now that's popular. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, like, bruh, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just is what it is, I guess. You know what I'm saying? But uh sneaker has that the sneaker community has become about reselling shoes and like i said buying into cool um you can just watch a show like uh what's the complex show when they take the celebrities and buy shoes do they, they be selling shoes to these celebrities i, I guess they like the celebrities they, they think your shoe is 400 500 dollars <laughs> they just think hey i'm getting that uh, a great quality shoe you know what i'm saying and, these shoes sometimes they went on sale some of the shoes that they be reselling went on sale for like a hundred dollars like you know i know a lot of you like uh hype beasts like to use the term uh sitting on shelves man but some of these shoes that they resell set on the shelves and now they're reselling the shoe to these celebrities for like like twice as much or sometimes three times as much as what that was originally for you know what i'm saying it's just it's crazy to me you know i, I it's annoying to me too it's, it's annoying bro when you want a shoe and you really want it man and you know it's a reseller gonna buy the shoe try to hold it hostage and resell it to you for a crazy amount of money like me bro i'm i'm keeping a, a thousand i'm not i'm not buying no resell shoes bro i mean sometimes you can go to the uh Stock X's, you can find things for a reasonable price, like almost retail price, because the shoe is just not popular. People are just not buying it. But other than that, man, if it's like some sh hype shoe that everybody wants, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna like buy up the shoes. I don't know what they be doing to acquire the shoes and then like resell it for like crazy amounts of money, dude. At that point, I'll just wear the shoes that's not popular. Cause it's 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 it's, it's Jordan's Nike. Well, Nike SB right now, dude. Like. Oh man, bro. Why did y'all have to go? Why my favorite shoe has to get into the hype, man? Why did my favorite shoe have to get into the hype, bro? Now everybody's going crazy over Nike SB Dunks, man. It's, it's annoying. You know what I'm saying? I was wearing Nike SBs, man, like a minute ago. Like, I'm, I'm, in, I'm like I said, I'm in my 30s. It's been over 10 years ago when I was like really heavy into Nike SBs, man. But now it's back popping. Now Air Forces are about to get back popular, I guess, because of Travis Scott. And I don't understand the fascination that people have with Travis Scott. And like they releasing some Nike SBs and Cactus Jacks, man. Dog. Bruh. 
Ain't nothing was nothing special about them shoes, man. I'm just like, yo, people were going crazy just because it, it got his, cat, his name attached to it. It's weird and it's lame. You know what I'm saying? I mean, people be trying it so hard to be cool, chasing cool. It's just lame, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, like, the sneaker game is, is ruined to me, man. It's ruined. It used to be a day where you can just go to the store. Not even the, the malls or nothing. Because I remember... We sneakerheads shopped at the boutiques back in the day. I don't like now. I haven't, I haven't like you know went to a boutique in a minute. But back in the day, I used to go to Premium Goods. And now you know what I'm saying like, like it, 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 it's just no distinguishing a sneakerhead, authentic sneakerhead from like a a person that just want to be you know like a person that just want to be cool, buying into cool, trying to be cool. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's, it's annoying, bro. And it's just. Hey man, I guess it is what it is, man. Uh, I guess I just wanted to make this video to like, what do you guys think about it? You know, like I'm I'm older, and I'm not really heavy heavy into shoes like that. If I see a shoe that I like, I'll buy it. You know what I'm saying? Like these right here, these joints is pretty uh dope. And those uh UNC uh to Chicago uh, ones, they was pretty dope. I had to cop them. Uh, you know, black cats, y'all. I like all black shoes, but. Uh, I'm just not like really heavy into like the, s the sneaker game like I used to be like I mean, you ain't gonna catch me waiting on line But back in the day waiting in line was so cool, bro. Like You know what I'm saying? That's how a lot of bonds and friendships was made You know what I'm saying? When we used to wait in the lines, you dig? Like <laughs> It was just different back in the day, man, like for the sneakerhead community And uh, now it's just to me a lot of people just see something and it, it, it looked cool to them and they just want to be cool you know what I'm saying? It, it's kind of it's kind of weird, man. You know, it's I don't know, man. It's kind of weird. Even like me, like I, I've been rocking these G-Shock watches from for a minute. Now, I remember I used to go into like stores and stuff. People like, oh, Mary, get your watch from. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody was like kind of intrigued by the watches, the different colors I had, things of that nature. And then Ball Wall and uh, Ball Wall and Soldier Boy made a song. I think they mentioned something about G-Shock watches. And after that, they it, it, it just took off and exploded. And Macy's, they didn't used to sell G-Shocks. Then they started selling G-Shocks. Other retailers, like dealers and things like that, and they just started selling G-Shocks. And then it, it was just like, damn, man, I, now kind of my uniqueness has been, like, popularized. You know what I'm saying? Even like the sneaker game. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like the sneaker game now is material is more materialistic now. Because back in the day, man, like, sneakerheads, we, we wouldn't even, we would wear, like, a, like a cool little graphic t-shirt. You know what I'm saying? Some Levi jeans or something, bruh. It will be good. Me, I, I used to wear camouflage shorts. What set me off was like a white tee, uh, some camouflage shorts, and like some Nike SBs, some J's. Uh, just saw some, some some cool shoes to set me off, bruh. I wasn't really, uh, like, I'm not really, I guess well, I, I'm into fashion, bro, in a sense. You dig? But I was never, it was never like how it is now. You know what I'm saying? And now it's just, I don't know, man. Even I be wondering about like the kids in school now, man. Like, like, what do they have to do to even get like a Jordan that costs two hundred dollars? You know what I'm saying? What do they have to do? You, you dig? It's just like for me, I, I feel like it's it's just because it's like it's more materialized. The shoes wasn't even that expensive, man. I remember when I was buying Jordans for like, bro. I think like one fifty. You know what I'm saying? I, like that was even cheaper. For, Cheaper before that. If you look at the East Bay, old school East Bay, you'll see just how cheap like the Jordans and pennies and things of that nature. Well, I think the the phone posits were, were always kind of up there in price, but other shoes they just was not expensive, man. You dig? And this is just like people with followers, man. I I, I want to see somebody wear some Fila, some Grant Hill Fila's, man. Just do do your own thing, man. People with followers, people want to be cool now. The, the the game has changed, bro, and it's. Is uh, just resellers, bots, people that's trying to be cool. It, it it it's just not what it used to be, man. I remember going to sneaker summers, bro. And you, it was just it was just cool, man. We, the re the people that was selling shoes at the sneaker summers a long time ago, they were more so people that was just selling a collection of shoes that they didn't want no more. That they outgrown, and they was getting into like other shoes like Nike SBs. We had a homie, his name was uh, Chris. He's still in the sneaker game heavy. I remember one time, he, I remember when me and him was getting into Nike SBs, man. He's like, bro, I'm about to sell my whole collection of J's. <laughs>
I think he did it too, man. He's like, man, he's like, yeah, these are just too hard, bro. They just too hard. You dig? So I remember one time we went to uh, H Town, one of the H Town sneaker summits, or the Winter Sneaker Summit. One of them. I remember we had these, the Nike SB Gibsons on. And I, oh, I, man, I always wanted those Nike SB Gibsons, bro. And I remember, like, I went to uh, online. I found a website that had them. It's called Active uh, Ride Shop. It was a skateboard shop. They don't sell Nike SBs no more. They don't got a Nike ca account. But, man, I remember, bro, that was, like, my favorite shoe, bro. I wore them shoes out, man. Nike SB Gibsons, man. My favorite all-time shoe. I'm rambling right now, man. But, man, I, this was just back in the day, man. It was the days, bro. Back in the day, the sneaker game was just so cool, man. It was like, we, we just, it was a people, it was people that was just into something that, was, that we all had a similar, like, like likeness to things. You know what I'm saying? He was a sneaker, he was into like Star Wars, bro. He was into like comic books, probably. He was just into cool stuff that uh, the society may deem like, oh, it's kind of like, oh, they kind of like into some like nerdy type of stuff. You dig what I'm saying? But we, we, was, we was just into our thing back in the day, man. The sneakerhead community has changed. Uh, I don't like where it's going now, man. And one more thing before I get out of here, man. Uh, what do you guys think about where is the state of sneakers going to be now that, you know, most shoes are like, I think all shoes are made in China. You know what I'm saying? Shoes are made in China. You dig what I'm saying? Like with, you know, with the coronavirus and, uh, you know, you know, the coronavirus, you know, coming from China, what... What do you guys think is gonna happen with the sneaker game now? Uh, do you think like the coronavirus is going to change the sneaker game? Um, me personally, I kind of like, I'm looking forward to the changes that's to come because of the coronavirus, you dig what I'm saying? I mean, I know it sounds kind of weird, but at the end of the day, nothing stays the same. I have a saying, Bruce, like Bruce Lee's saying, you, uh, be like water, you put water in a cup, it becomes a cup, put water in a, a pot, becomes the pot. You know, water has a different, uh, it's just like gas, liquid, you know what I'm saying? It has this different type of forms, things of that nature. And I believe that you have to be like water. You have to adapt to change. I was wondering where is the sneaker game going to go because of the, the coronavirus and most of their shoes being made in China, things of that nature. Will they uh, eventually start making some, sh Nike will start making some shoes in the U.S. Uh, will they use other uh, places like, you know, other countries, things of that nature? Because I know new balances are made in the U.S., you know what I'm saying? And I think it's good to support like US made uh, products and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? Like me currently, I don't have no New Balances. I remember New Balances. If you, was, if you were OG Sneakerhead, you know what New Balances were, bro. Shout out to my boy, Chris. But OG Sneakerheads, man, back in the day, a New Balance shoe was the shoe. Cause that's the ones with all the colors. It was the shoe you wore when you didn't want to wear your J's, bro. You didn't want to wear your Nike SBs. Didn't want to wear your Dunks or whatever the case may be. It was like that in-between shoe that you ran to the store in. But, you know, they had some fly colors. And you still wanted to be kind of fly. I, I, I forgot the shoe that's out now. Uh, it's actually a... It kind of reminds me of New Balance a little bit, man. Uh, I forgot the name of it, man. But it, 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 it got that same vibe where you'll wear it when you don't want to wear your actual shoes man but anyway what do you guys think do you guys think the sneaker game is about to change because of the coronavirus i think the coronavirus is finna change everything man you know what i'm saying everything is finna change because of the coronavirus the way we interact the way we do things the way we do business the way we uh you know shop you know, buying things online you know even like when the stores open back up bro like like man they have to have so much stuff sitting you know what i'm saying like yeah, man, man, anyway, it's your boy Tony Fit Kicks, man. I don't want to hold y'all up, man. It's your boy, holla at me. Get at me. Let me know what you guys think, man. Holla at your boy Tony Fit Kicks. Let's go. Yes, sir.